As good as Tears of the Kingdom was, I likely won't be replaying it any time in the near future because of one major trait that irked me more than anything while playing it to completion, which was repetition just how much time we as players are spent waiting or skipping the same animations and dialogue throughout the game. While some were minor, like visiting all 15 towers to make the world map, the biggest culprits we had to suffer through were shrines and fairy upgrades. For shrines, there are a few parts to the whole process. When reaching a shrine, we're shown an animation for it activating, Link walking into it, a loading screen, and then Link entering the shrine. After this, we're back to gameplay and we can do whatever we want or whatever's necessary inside the shrine to get through it. Once we've reached the end of a shrine, however, we're then given the post-shrine animations. Link activating the shrine, statue talks to us, getting the light of blessing, statue saying goodbye, another loading screen, and finally Link walks out of it. All that pre and post shrine content combined, including the loading screens, is about 50 seconds. Which doesn't seem all that bad, but remember, there are 152 shrines in this game, meaning this becomes 2 hours and 7 minutes of having to watch the same animations. Luckily we're able to skip most of these animations. With pressing skip as early as possible, the post shrine portion can be brought down to 12 seconds of shrine, or half an hour for all of them. But even having to press skip seems like an unnecessary need when you're 20 shrines into the game and already bored of seeing all this. There's just so much of the same animation for doing these shrines, especially if you head back-to-back -back blessing shrines where you're now skipping dialogue more than actually playing in shrines. Instead of all this, why not make it an option in settings? Something like skip shrine ending, it makes the end of shrine process more like this, where reaching the end immediately boots you back to the loading screen, already storing the blessing in your inventory too, so there's less to watch. It doesn't solve the problem completely, but at least reduces it to just about 8 seconds, or 20 minutes for all shrines, where you're not watching Link receive the same ball of light 152 times. Now fairies on the other hand, these are more optional than shrines, but who doesn't want to upgrade their armor during this adventure, especially with majority of these sets getting new powers if you upgrade them enough and wanting to see what each of them can do. Upgrading just one piece of armor to its max level requires you to watch four different fairy animations. Without skipping these in the forced dialogue before and after, in total add up to about a minute and twenty. Which again, isn't much, but this was just for one piece of armor. If you want to max out a full set of armor, that requires doing this process two more times with the other pieces, leading to you having to deal with watching these animations for four minutes in total. This of course isn't factoring in the time needed to travel all Hyrule and finding the resources you need to even do the upgrade too meaning you'd have to do this entire upgrading process 35 times, turning into just about 2 hours and 20 minutes. With skipping, this at least can be brought down to just an hour and 26 minutes, but that's still just shy of watching the entire length of the original Super Mario Bros. movie. At least with health and stamina upgrades, you only need to watch that full ceremony animation once per session, as after it plays, any further upgrades are just given to you quickly and you can just move on to the next. Sure, the quick response solution to all this is just don't do shrines or upgrades then, but then you're severely handicapping yourself with low hearts, stamina, and armor. Just that you're not forced to sit around watching the same things over and over. Not only that, but you're also missing out on some key armor abilities to reduce some other annoyances throughout the game, like making climbing easier or immunity to weather. Instead, you're now making yourself waste time in other areas, like trying to keep your stamina up while climbing a big wall, or only doing small sprints when you're trying to get from point A to B. Again, I love the game, but no game is without fault. It just felt like all this repetition was an oversight during the development phase. Didn't anyone at Nintendo think, I gotta skip through all this stuff again, while they were testing it or making the 152 shrines? Why make the player sit through it all again, and again, and again? Especially with this being the sequel too, since we had to deal with all this before in Breath of the Wild. Other than shrines and fairies though, were there any other repetitive moments in either game that you didn't like suffering through? Or a mechanic you thought could have been implemented better? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.